We know that SAP provides a global specific business scenarios in the SAP system. However, most of the business scenarios that may not fit in the global specific scenarios. For this reason, SAP always provides a flexibility where a client can implement their own logic to meet their business standards. That is what we call an enhancement in SAP terminology. So, as part of the session, let us try to find a right enhancement and implement an example for the shipment cost calculation process. Before finding the enhancement, let me show you one uh, real-time example. Okay. So, as you can see on the slide, okay, there is a standard freight flow which has been given by the SAP and there is a business expected uh, flow. Okay. Whereas in the standard business flow, so sale order is created, then delivery is created, then shipment document is created and then the cost document is prepared in which the freight charges are applied and whatever the charges that are there in the cost document will be transferred, transferred to the building document and the same will be set uh, to be collected from the customer okay this is the standard scenario which is practiced globally so whereas in the customized functionality the process would be different like you know sale order is created then delivery is created then billing is created in billing the freight charges are applied okay then with reference to the delivery shipment document is created and in the cost document the system have to bring the uh, freight conditions from the billing document to the cost doc. Then the amount has to be settled to the vendor. So this is the business uh, typical requirement which has to be uh, met in the SAP system. For this reason, let us try to find the right enhancement for this situation. In order to find the uh, enhancement for this, let us execute the transaction SPRO, SAP reference image, logistics execution, transportation, system modification. So if you can see here, there are different values which are given for the transportation enhancements. Along with that, you can also find the user exit for the transportation. So just go for the documentation of it, then check for the enhancements given by CMOL functionality. Okay, here, if you want to implement an enhancement for the transportation, you have to use the enhancements that start with V56 star. So if at all you want to enhance something in the shipment cost document, you have to start with the enhancement which is there in V54 star. So let, let us take a topic for the shipment cost calculation where we have to bring the shipment cost from the billing document into the shipment cost document. So the reason for re, uh, implementing this requirement is to bring the billing information into the shipment cost document as, as this information won't be available in the shipment cost document. So with reference to the delivery number, let us try to pull the billing document number from the VBFA table and then pass the data into the pricing structures like KOMK and KOMP. So let me show you that. Go to the transaction S mode to check the standard user exit. Just mention this here. Click on F4. So here you can find the list of uh, cost documents, uh, list of enhancement uh, uh, spots which can be used for the shipment cost calculation requirements. So for our reason, for our requirement, we can implement the pricing related user exit. Select this, then click on display and go to the component section. Here you can find two different function models, right? One is for the KYMK structure. Here you can hover it and you can find the information of it. And this is for the item structure that is KYMK in which you can pass the billing number against a, a delivery. So let us try to activate this and implement the logic for it. So let us go to the transaction C mode, enter the project name like JDN underscore VA01 and click on create, mention appropriate uh, description for this. Then uh, click on enhancement assignments, save it, then mention the user exit then save it then go for the components and activate it here then go for change components it is already activated now go into the function module here double click on it and implement the logic here here you can write the breakpoint okay to trigger this while creating a uh, shipment cost document let us create a end-to-end cycle first. 
for a better understanding i am creating the sales order then delivery and i'll go for the billing creation delivery is completed i'll go for the billing in which i capture the freight charges as you can see here i can see the freight condition here with the value of 50 rupees then i'll save it now i'll take the delivery number and i create a shipment document with reference to delivery click on deliveries then scroll down to the post goods issue status since the post goods issue has been completed you have to set the status to c and input the outbound delivery here then click on execute you will be able to see the delivery number then click on include delivery and shipment go for the overview of current session enter the transport vendor complete the activities here then save it go for the shipment cost calculation just enter the shipment number and press enter as soon as you print press enter the system has taken you to the function model which has been activated through c mode transaction here you can implement the required logic here so for our requirement you can see the data which is available under local program so as you can see here you have i underscore vfsi in which you can find the delivery information and c underscore kmp which is a changing parameter in which you can change the changing structure in which you can change the or update the required data into the item structure so let me show you that just copy it and paste it in the variable one and copy c underscore kmp here and paste it here here you can see the delivery number and the item number of it then you will find aubel and AUPOS are empty here so we can make use of these fields to uh, pass the billing document which has been found with reference to the delivery document okay let me try to implement the same and i'll show you back yeah i have implemented the logic in the uh, uh, c mode uh, transaction so first thing is i am just finding the list of billing documents which are created with reference to the delivery then i am just checking the active invoice from the vbfa okay by passing them into the vbrk by checking the invoice cancellation status and the posting status if it is active then the data will be available in the uh, vbrk and then whatever the number that is finalized can be passed to the uh, you know uh, aubl field here you can see that i am set aubl field with the active building document once this com activity is completed then you have to select the item number which has been created with reference to the delivery item number once it is found then this has to be passed to the koMP aupos okay so this is how we have to pass the information once this activity is completed then you have to implement a pricing routine in which you can write the logic to fill the required co uh, required uh, uh, you know pricing from the jw00 which has been maintained in the billing document so i have already created one uh, uh, custom routine in which i used kmp aubel which is a base for me like you know finding the billing document with reference to that i'll pick the price from the uh, you know uh, pricing condition table okay which is there against the jw00 condition if the price is found then it will pass that into the corresponding condition which is there in the uh, shipment ca uh, cost calculation document okay let me try to show you that how exactly it is uh, working let me execute the transaction va01 again press enter here you can see the code which has been implemented earlier so let me show you now system is able to find three documents here okay so here what i do let let the system filter the value from there as you can see so ltv k is having only one entry here so which is nothing but a billing number 
then if it is not initial then I'll pass the value to the AVL field as you can see the field is filled with the uh, user exit which we have implemented by using C mode transaction once it is done then I am passing the LV postner okay which is the billing item number then I pass it into the APOS so this activity is completed then I set a breakpoint in the custom routine let us see that also in a debugging screen so here you can see so I, just because of maintaining that uh, user exit for uh, passing the billing document now system is able to identify the billing document number within the custom pricing routine so here the number is available with reference to that I try to find the condition record from the uh, conditions table here system is able to identify the value from there and the same has to be passed to the XKYMV KBETR which is a field for the condition rate of the required condition type okay so you can see the uh, condition type here uh, so this is the condition which I have used for the shipment cost calculation in the VI01 transaction once this activity is completed the value started populated here okay so now let me go into the item data select this and go for the conditions click here now we are able to find the uh, condition value here so which has been picked from the billing document so this is how we will be able to make use of this user exits to meet the business standards uh, that's all for uh, now